that with Blessings Craft Therapy with another project. Friends, let's see if we can make an enameled bucket out of these cute clearance buckets I got from Walmart. All right, so obviously I got them from the um, Christmas section. I think I paid 90 cents for the, the package of three. I'm so excited. Anyways, so I'm painting this first coat with a black multi-purpose paint. Um, and easy peasy, right? You can go and be careful around the handles if you want. If you make a mistake, it scratches off the handle easy. You could just use your fingernail and scratch off the paint. It's fine. Um, now I'm going to tell you this though. You want to make sure that you let this paint dry really well before you go and try to do another coat. And I'm going to show you why. Watch what happens. It like smudges the paint. So just be mindful about it. Make sure it's dry before you go and try to, you know, do another coat if you're going to do another coat. I only did one coat on this. Then once that was fully dry, I did a coat of white chalk paint. Um, now, here's the problem I had. I put this on and all I could see were the streaks. And I, listen, if I could use spray paint, I totally would have. It would have made a nice um, coverage, but I can't because of allergies. So we are doing what we can. So I didn't like all the brush marks. It, you know, so basically I just do an entire coat of the white go all the way around. I'm being, trying to be a little bit careful around the um, handles and that's how I did this. I am using a makeup brush. I find that makeup dr brushes work really well. It gives you a nice precise kind of line which I love um, and I get them at Dollar Tree of course. Um, but again you don't have to don't be too worried about it if you make a mistake. Like I said before it comes off the handle easily if you just scratch it. <laughs> it's fine. All right so as I mentioned the brush marks. I it bothered me. So yet again, I pull out my handy dandy pouncer and I just start doing another coat with the white chalk paint and I go all the way around. Just make sure you go up and down. If you do, you know, like if you kind of swipe it, it's going to look like a brush stroke. So now here's the part where we make it look like an enameled uh, basket pale, whatever. Anyways, so I'm just using a dry brush and I'm using the same black that we did that first coat with. Um, so I just kind of get it on the brush and then I'm going on the edges on the bottom and the top and I'm just trying to make a nice dark edge. Look at that. Now listen, you could stop right there. If you don't like the primitive distressed vibe, don't go crazy pants. So I'm kind of showing it in stages like, oh look, okay. And let's do a little bit more. Oh, isn't that nice? Listen friends, you know who I am. I love the distressed method. So you know I'm going I'm going all in on this. So I just start, you know, I'm just doing a little bit here and there, seeing, you know, where do we need more? Where do we need less? Well, you can't have less. That was silly. <laughs> it's like cutting your hair and, oh, it was too short. Let's, <laughs> never mind. Anyway, so as you can see, I did keep going a little bit further, only because that's my aesthetic. I love having that real distressed primitive vibe. This is going to look amazing on my desk. As I probably have mentioned before, I have an enameled uh, pail that I have on my floor and this is going to match beautifully. Now you could use it for decor, super pretty, but I use mine for ribbon. Mm -hmm. 